people were threatening to the security guard, so he went inside, he called the cops, the cops said that this wasn't bad enough, and so the cops left, and it happened. But So I'm glad that the security guard went inside, because I wouldn't want him to be hurt. But that said, there was some damage down here. It's a lot of damage. It's really painful for me, because I love this building, you know, this is for community. We're serving 6,000 people for free. We don't have a whole lot of resources. So now we have to spend like close to like $7,000 between the security stuff, the painting, and then we have to repair the windows. So. And that's $7,000. Could go towards benefiting low-income families to improve their credit, reduce their debt, increase their savings, increase their income. And instead, we're paying it to mitigate things that shouldn't have happened. The celebration to the vandalism doesn't make sense. People are asking me, like, should the city be doing something different? Should the Giants be doing something different? I think there's two things. It's great that the Giants are doing well, but how is their messaging around that this should not happen? And how is there a campaign around that from the Giants, from the city? And then also, like, how is there more regular um, security around here yeah. um, to make sure that, to prevent this stuff. If you could have one message to the people who did this, what would you say to them? Celebrate, don't damage. You know, we are helping your community.